Ooh, it's almost Valentine's Day, where lovers all over the world will be exchanging sweet... Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Since this project is going to require about 180,000 slats to make, I thought I would cut these boards down to the rough lengths of those slats first. Cutting the longest pieces to their length, I'm gonna use my table saw with my crosscut sled. I've attached this extension arm and a stop block. And I'll use a stop block on my fence for the shorter pieces. I want the width of these strips to be as wide as the thickness of the board, so I can just line up the edge of the board and bring my fence over. What I want to do is drill all of the holes that hold these pieces together at the same time so that they're all in the exact same spot. I have a feeling this is going to get a little bit tricky. You pretty much have to have a drill press to do this. Even using my drill press, I'm not sure how accurate all of these holes are going to be. But by positioning a stop block right next to my drill bit, I'm giving myself a fighting chance of having some accuracy when I drill holes through the ends of each of these, that they'll all be in the same spot. When I go to drill the hole on the other side, I'll flip the board over this way in case the drill bit isn't exactly centered on the board. At least it'll be equal to the other side. I'm laying everything out on my table here to get an idea of how this is all going to fit together. The legs, which are longer, have a shelf on the bottom that's raised up a little bit, so I need to drill those holes next. The trick is going to be getting this hole lined up with all of these holes for that bottom shelf when the dowel goes through all of them. So what I've done is I just cut a little piece of the dowel and I'm going to hook these two together. And I should be able to line this up and drop my drill down where that hole is and set up my stop block. I can remove that one and drill out all of these holes. The holes that I need to drill for the center shelves are a little bit easier because they don't require exact positioning as long as they're all the same. I'll just split the difference between these two holes. I've cut these dowels oversized so that I can get them in and out easy. I'm going to try to dry fit this together and see how it works. So I think I'll just leave it assembled. I can put a dab of glue on the ends of each dowel and then put my support cleats in that are gonna help keep this square. A dab of glue on this side and a dab of glue on this side. Then I can slide this final piece on here and here. With the glue on all of these end pieces of the shelves, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna come back and put in these cleats. I'm gonna glue these blocks to the underside of the top and bottom shelf. I don't think I need one on the middle and these should give it a lot of extra support and help keep it square.
I'm gonna finish it by wiping on some Danish oil. If you would like to challenge yourself by building this shoe rack, check down below for a free set of plans. And it's not really that difficult of a project, but it just demands a certain amount of precision. Whenever you're drilling holes, make sure that you drill them all at the same time. If you have to move your setup for any reason, it's gonna be really hard to get it exactly the way it was before. Just be patient with it, have some fun, and you'll learn some skills along the way. I don't know if I want to mess it up by putting shoes on it now. 